Yo, what's up, you pork-eating porcupines? Well, <laughs> suddenly, eyeballs. Welcome back to Orc of the Seasons. Currently, we are up in the upper left-hand section of the map. We went through that one gate where we had to insert the four random shapes into the wall. Now we're in a mysterious forest full of Slurpee boys. There's a lot. I've never seen this many like-likes in one area in a Zelda game in my whole life. They just keep coming! So much slurpiness! Okay, so what are we trying to do? We got a riddle in the last episode that said to keep going west with each season getting gradually warmer. So, <laughs> winter is the coldest season. So let's turn into the winter and then head west. It's the same exact screen. Cool. I'm not sure if there's any indication that we're doing this right. So I think autumn will be the next warmest season. I was trying to think if spring was warmer or autumn is warmer. And honestly, I think it depends where you live. Where I lived, I think autumn was normally warmer than spring was. But it's whatever. Okay, spring is going to be third. And then summer should be the next season. <laughs> Just all these like-likes coming from this like-like generator at the bottom of the screen. Like, what's going on? Dude! Look at how shiny it is! We got the Sacred Noble Sword. Ooh, so noble. It's made of the noble gases. I forget what the noble gases are. What was it? Thinking... Mm. Oxygen? <laughs> Nitrogen. I don't remember my chemistry very well. Okay, so we have a new sword. How fast can we kill like likes with this thing? Two hits. We're just killing off whole populations now. It's time to make like likes go extinct. Nobody wants them. Okay, so I think we have to do the same exact thing again, but we have to go west, south, east, and north. Because another Deku scrub that we talked to last episode told us to do that. So we're going west again. We're going to be going in a full circle. That's what it seems like. This is such a weird portion of the game. I guess I, I kind of like it. Whoa, they're making us go through the south entrance. That's the dangerous one. Okay, spring is coming, baby. We got the flowers blossoming. They're beautiful. Now, loving the summer. We love when it's hot. We did it. We made it. Where are we at now? Pretty much the same area. Do these? Whoa! They wake up. Is there anything underneath any of them? Let's check. Any like secret entrances? Okay, doesn't seem like there's any underneath those. Let's check these guys. These bad bitches. Nope. Nothing hidden, surprisingly. I think this just keeps going, doesn't it? Okay, these guys don't come to life. Okay, we have one of these tornado trees. Do these give us more gale seeds? I would think so. Whoa! It's a baller! <sighs> okay, well we have a stronger sword now, so these guys should be like, theoretically, much easier. Theoretically, if I didn't suck at the game. Also, if I had my shield still, <laughs> a like-like rudely ate it last episode. I'm not sure how you politely eat somebody's shields. Okay, why was he so hard to hit? Well, at least, at least he's gone now. <laughs> Deku flower, spit me up. Is this one of those season changing puzzles again? Okay, well, let's explore during springtime first. Oh, she, we got maple again. All right, let's get this scissor up. I'm just going to make sure she runs into us fast. Whoa, ring. Let's get the ring first. It's an emerald ring, I think. Uh -huh. Not sure how many rupees this is, but I'm gonna get- Nope! That's mad Gale Seed. Okay, those guys are a lot easier to kill now, too. Okay, can't, does this break? Am I still wearing that ring that prevents the floor from breaking? What are we wearing? The blue holy ring. No damage from Zoras, right? I should go equip a different ring, since we're not really around many Zoras right now. Whoa, there's some guys right here now. Yikes. Okay, let's start with... Summertime? Yeah! Let's refill our, refill our gale seats. So we can get some nice teleports in. 
What season can we pick up mushrooms? Was it fall? Yeah, it is fall. I'm highly suspicious of this tree down here. Just chilling by himself. Hanging out with the mushrooms. Normally trees don't like mushrooms. Oh shoot! A gasha seed! <laughs> Just a teardrop. Why do the gasha seeds look like teardrops? Are they trying to like replicate some other type of seed? Or is it its own just species entirely? Um, I'm gonna put it to winter real fast. I'm just gonna dodge this man. He's not very good at hitting me. Whew. Yikes, okay, move it around. Also, I need to start taking the hints that people have been giving me to dig more. <laughs> because, yeah, look at this. I just found a freaking Gasha seed area. Let's plant a tree. But yeah, if I'm trying to like refill my hearts and stuff, I was told to start digging more because there's a lot of just hearts and rupees underground. Which yeah, we just found like three hearts in that short time span. Oh! Check it out, we got a big snow drift! Mr. Plow hasn't come through here! Oh shit, get it! Yikes, okay. No thank you. I wonder how close we are to being done here. This has been like a large overworld segment. Can I push it? Ooh! Okay, we opened up a shortcut. Oh, get out of here. Damn. Okay, maybe springtime? Yeah, bring that Deku flower back to life. I love Deku flowers. Oh, we can already go over here. What is this? He 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 he, Mario. Who this? Red cloak? Blue cane? Is this? Colonel Sanders? Know this, foolish boy. If you save Din, the world will be filled with destruction, sorrow, and despair. Our great sacrifice will be offered, and the evil king revived. Then people will know true pain as darkness falls across the lands. <laughs> Wait. So according to what he just said, if we save Din, the world is going to be covered in darkness. If we don't save Din, she'll be used as a sacrifice and the world will be filled with darkness. So it's a lose-lose? I'm going to call this bluff and I'm going to try saving Din if both outcomes I mean death and destruction. Okay, so we found the next dungeon. Cool. Before I go in there, I just want to check this section over here. Because yeah, there were some trees. I'm going to burn them. I gotta burn all the trees. I don't want to look over anything. I might be missing like some big secret. Oh, there it is. What did I just say? Secrets everywhere. Another old man. I thank you for paying to fix my door. What? I fell for it again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> that sucks. Whoa, what? Does our new sword break pots? I can break pots with my sword now. That's so good. That makes me so happy. This is a game changer right here. No longer will I have to equip the croissant onto my wrist to pick up pots and spend my time. So level six, ancient ruins. First we gotta judge the music, first things first. Kinda sounds a little bit Egyptian. Although I have the breakdown. Bottom. Oh, another one of these things. Oh no. <laughs> bum, bum, bottom. I love it. Bum, bum, bum. The, strong, the song has so much power behind it. Whoa, we have Phantos. Another locked door. Alright, gotta start memorizing another dungeon. Wait, what, what's going on here? We have some spike traps and then a broken floor piece. Before I run forward, I'm just gonna throw a bomb. Aha! Oh! I didn't fall for it. Look at me go. Mummies. The mummies take three hits with the sword. I wonder how much stronger my sword is now. Is it like twice as strong? 1.5 times as strong? Okay, I got a chest right here. Don't want to get trapped though. <laughs> I don't have the ring anymore that doesn't break the floor. I'm half tempted to go back to the city and buy myself a new shield. But, well, first off, I don't have any rupees. Well, I have seven rupees now. Yay! Let's go. Oh, shit! Ah! But also, it, it took a while to get here. 
I wonder if there's a new teleport portion on our map that allows us to teleport up to where this temple is. Or if we have to go through the woods the long way each time. So I definitely hate backtracking through those woods we went through every single time we needed to come to this temple. Not saying that we ever need to come back after we beat it, though. I don't know. What are we trying to do right now? I haven't seen, like, anything... I haven't seen any keys yet. No puzzles, really. We have these assholes just shooting these fireballs at us this whole time. Do they stop once we kill all the enemies? No, they do not. Can I push any blocks? This is kind of the downside of Zelda games, is like how some of these puzzles just require you to try pushing every block in the room. Not necessarily the best type of game design, trying to make people think that they have to like push every single object to see if it holds a secret. Okay, so I just went in a circle and I didn't find anything. Oh, but this is going in the opposite direction now. Ah. So do we have to go all the way around there just so we can go to the left? All right, if that's, if that's the way it is, I'll play the game. I don't care. Ah! Also, so as you guys know, this is the blind let's play. And I am contemplating doing another blind let's play after this because I kind of like having a, a blind series going on. Although I guess I have two blind series going on because Skyward Sword is like half blind. But this is full blind. Anyways, as I was saying, I have another idea for a blind series, and I wanted to get you guys' opinions in the comment section. Ooh! Let's use our boomerang. But yeah, I was thinking of starting a blind let's play of Undertale. Because all of the Deltarune stuff has been coming out, which has been pretty exciting. Damn, this, guy, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fall. But yeah, the new chapters of Deltarune have been coming out. And it seems like the hype for like the Undertale games get to like stay up there. And I've never really played past the beginning of the, the game. I've gotten to like where Sans and Papyrus are, and that's kind of all I've played. But I know how the game works. I know how there's like pacifist runs and neutral runs and all of that. Whoa. I think I just glitched the game out. That was weird. Am I doing this right? We gotta put it on that button back there? think so. Nice. And we got a key! Cool. I'm gonna get this treasure chest over here, I guess. But yeah, I know that Undertale fan base is pretty big, and I feel like there's a lot of... Uh, a pretty big overlap between the Undertale fan base and the Zelda fan base. And I respect Toby Fox as like an independent game developer, and I've always wanted to get more into the Undertale series, because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So yeah, just let me know if you guys think that's a good or bad opinion or if you'd watch it or not so I can just like get a vibe for if that would be a good idea or not okay so we got the dungeon map holy crap this dungeon is five floors tall it's like the largest dungeon yet how long is this gonna take us I don't know I guess I better better buckle in for the ride see belts on we got ten rupees Slowly try to get rupees again. Are these? Oh no. How do I do this? I'm gonna get stuck in there. Can I blow up these from the other side? No. What if I like time this out? Oh my gosh, no. Oh shit. Oh no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to be stuck back here with these guys. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> this is the worst. Okay, now we're beeping. I'm not sure if anything could have even stopped that. Oh, shit. Oh, no! What is this? Ah! Oh, my God. This is so dangerous. I have half a heart left. Ha! Huh. Okay, I see, like, an orb. Orb. If only I had that potion. That would be so good right now. But I don't. How do I hit that? Can I use my boomerang? I don't think I can get it to curve like that. Is there an upgrade that allows you to like choose the path of your boomerang? Do I have another object that would hit that? Am I supposed to be here right now? 
How was I supposed to get back here without getting hurt in the first place? Can I get out of here without getting hurt? I'm just gonna teleport back to the beginning of the dungeon. <laughs> Continue. Thank you. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Do I want to hit this block? Where does that go? Wasn't I just in that room? That doesn't seem like a good idea. I'm gonna go through that other locked door that I saw. I trust that locked door more because it goes to a new section of the map that I haven't been to yet. See, I have no clue in the world what the item for this dungeon is gonna be. I'm pretty excited for it though. Not Beemos. I forget, I don't think there was a way to kill these Beemos either, which really sucks. Okay, where do I want to go first? That's the question. There's like multiple ways to get around here. <laughs> Wait, I think I can make that jump. And... Damn it. Okay, let's try again. Oh. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I made it. Yes, yes, yes. We found the compass. Use it to track your position. Bet. Please don't die. Oh, God, no. Okay, I see some stairs over here. Probably want to head upwards. Fortunately, this Beemos seems like it has pretty terrible aim. It hit me enough times to get me down to one heart, though. In combination with all the times that I fell in that room just now, I don't want to talk about it. I see a switch to press. I love pressing switches. I'm a bitch for these switches. I'm the switch bitch. Why is the temple shaking so much? Oh my god, what? What? Holy crap. Oh, I thought I was gonna all crumble beneath me. Uh, okay. No, I'm just gonna die so I can get my heart filled back up. I hate the beeping so much. Let's run and let's see if we can make it. Oh, oh we totally did it. Nice, check it out. Haha, and the Beemos can't hit me here. Okay, up to the next floor. This is the treasure chest floor. But yeah, if I haven't told you guys yet, Nintendo said they're not going to announce like any other Zelda game or side game or remake or anything else until I finish my blind let's plays of Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Because they don't see a point in releasing a new Zelda game if I haven't played every single one. So I'm sorry, it's my fault. It's totally my fault. And I will do my best to finish these games ASAP. <laughs> Weird. That treasure chest had some bombs. Is this one gonna have some arrows? Nope, a bloopy. Oh, sheesh. Oh, hell nah. I'm getting out of here real quick. That's right. Reload, you bitches. I'll go down first. Ooh. These guys look dangerous. If I could keep my hearts full, I could have my sword beam. Which... Have I always had that? Or is that new with the Noble Sword? That seems new, okay. The door opened. Was there any purpose for this room apart from making me fight shit? <laughs> Was this just supposed to inconvenience me and nothing else? It really does seem that way. <laughs> look at me like, I look like a stupid ass just pushing all these blocks. I almost just like wanna make a skit about what it's like playing a Zelda game like translated to real life and just show myself just like pushing things and just breaking pots and stuff trying to figure out what to do <gasps> where do i go just push on everything until you find out oh no i don't have my shields oh but i can jump on these ha 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 oh but now i'm stuck do any of these push outwards look here i am just pushing on blocks again never fails Okay, so the problem is, I, can I kill these guys without my shield? Oh, I think I can. I think I can use the... Is it the mystery seeds? Let's try it out. Oh, shit. Nope, that's not working. Okay, let's try the gale seeds. Haha. -ha. Oh yeah, that's right. Fling him out. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Gotta push the trampoline over here. I used to live on a trampoline, like, through my childhood. I 
feel like trampolines are like the best modern day luxury to have as a kid. They're just so much fun, you know? You can do so much with my, oh my God, please. No, they moved my trampoline back. Are you joking? Who pushed that? No, bad. Okay, the, the second floor feels so empty. <laughs> the simple seems like it'd be really, really difficult if you didn't get that sword upgrade. You found it at the perfect time. Something that I was made aware of. Oh wait, do I wanna fall down here? That would take me to a section of the map I have not yet been to, so I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, so I was made aware that you can actually get the upgraded sword without doing any of the side quests, like the big trading side quests that we did. Oh, magical boomerang! Dang, I called it. I can control its flight path. It's literally what I thought was gonna happen. Can I kill these guys with it? Because that's what I need to be able to do. Oh, I can. Damn, magical boomerang is lit. This thing bops. Bop these assholes. I'm gonna kill, I guess you have to kill everything in here to leave. Sick. It like just goes backwards through them as well. That's so kick-ass. But yeah, so the whole entire trading side quest we did was entirely optional. You do that just so you can get the hint from the Deku scrub who loves the phonograph. You do it so you can get the hint from him to go west, 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 west with the whole seasons thing. And, oh, there we go. Trapped. That's not that's no bueno. Oh yeah, there's the, the ball up here. Yeah, I think that's pretty interesting, the fact that all of that was just completely optional. <laughs> we didn't have to do any of the trading side quests if we just knew the, the hint in the first place. Which I guess kinda helps with replay value. Like you don't have to do the, the trading side quests every single time you play the game if you want to hundred percent. I don't think. Is there any other like perks to doing the trading side quest apart from that hint that you get as to how to get the noble sword? And I also wonder if we can upgrade our sword a third time. What else can we upgrade? Rock's feather. What does that look like when it's upgraded? Can we jump further? Ooh, can we kill these guys with the magical boomerang too? That would make a lot more sense. Like, it's not fun. No, damn it. This room is the worst. Is there a way to kill these guys? There has to be, right? Let's try the Gale Seeds. Nope. Ember Seeds? Nope. Mystery Seeds? No! <laughs> it killed me. It didn't take me too long to run around, but it was still pretty obnoxious. Okay, let's see if I can try to get through here with taking the least amount of hearts damage possible. Okay, we need to get him like stuck back in this bottom section. Oh shoot! Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh no. Fuck! Fuck me! No, no, no. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh no. Damn it. Dom you! Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that spike trap at the bottom. I have to run all the way around a second time! No! Okay, I think if I run through, maybe it can't follow me. No, it can follow me for sure. No, sir. Get out of here. No! I hate this room! I don't understand that room at all! Holy... Damn! Okay. We've made it. That's all that matters. I don't think we have to backtrack necessarily. <laughs> as long as we make it through one way, we're good. We hit it. Ooh, secret passage. I was expecting a key or something. I don't know what we would have used a key for though, apart from that shortcut, so... I'm now starting to realize... If I would have opened up that block key, it seems like that 
would have possibly like soft locked me. Unless there's another key somewhere that I can go to. But I don't I don't know. How else I would have gotten the key to go to the room with the Beemos? That ended up leading me to the staircase up do upstairs. I don't know. That's wild. Aw, oh, come on, keys. Why gotta play me like that? Don't you guys just like leave me in peace? Wanna leave me in pieces? Whoa. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I hate these guys with the swords, they're so hard to hit. You have to be at the right angle. Ah! Low hearts. I wish Low Hearts was one heart, not two. Can I get up there? What floor are we on now? Second floor? Guess we're on downstairs, gang. Ooh, perfect time for a Phantos is what I'm talking about. Thank you. These guys are a little bit easier. They just like rush into it and while they're running. It's just so easy to hit them. How do I get over there? floor. What happens if I fall down to the floor below? Oh, I haven't been here yet. That's a new area. Let's do it. Aha. Look at me go. Or can I kill these guys? No, I cannot. Everything in here wants to kill me. Good thing I have Gale Seeds. <laughs> Just fling them out of this world. <laughs> See ya. Right, there's that treasure. There's that trampoline on the other side. Do I want to push that somewhere? Probably not. I actually see a use for my for my ember seeds again. Finally. Just light up these candles. The temple's 50th birthday. And that opened up another staircase. More secret passages everywhere. No such thing as too many secret passages. Everyone loves a secret passage. Is that a real rupee? What is that? Uh, what, what just happened? Oh shit. What? Oh god, this temple's like closing in on me. Wait, all right, Pegasus Seeds. Oh no. Oh, the whole entire thing is just like collapsing. This is scary, this is really scary. Oh no, fuck me! Oh, we barely made it through. That was so close. The boss key, already? I guess we gotta find the, the boss room next. Can I not push blocks when I'm running or is it really gonna make me go through that room backwards? Are you joking? Oh, there's a staircase. Jeez, I hate keys. Oh, we're back in this room. Why is the door not opening? Oh, I guess I, I guess you do have to push a block. Oh, these temples where you have to like drop through the holes in the floor. You can get your brain scrambled. Okay, so if we drop down here, it looks like we'll drop down to where that chest was. I'm gonna have faith. Leap of faith. There we go. I was right. Key? Yay! We can keep going forward. Going back to my locked door. I understand how locked doors work. Mini boss? Gar har har. I am Vire, Onyx's loyal henchman. I heard someone was trying to stop Onyx, but it's just some kid. Fine, I can handle you. All right, let's see if I can actually use some of my fighting techniques to stay alive this time. I don't want to try to backtrack my way into this mini boss room because this temple confuses me too much. We have full hearts, we have sword beam right now. That's nice. Oh, those ones, the orange ones. Pesky kid, take this, take what? Take what? What are you giving me? Bully! That's it! I'm serious! You can't talk to me, you're a mini boss! That's some that's some bitch shit. 
like runs around if I get near. Oh, I got him, I got him. It actually seems easier than most mini-bosses. Unless I'm just getting lucky. Oh! We're gonna use a magical boomerang? That doesn't seem to do anything. What? I can't hit him by running up to him. Oh, I have to wait for him to attack me? It seems if I come to him, he like runs away. Aha! Fine! Goodbye! Wait, is he dead? Oh, I have to wait for him to swoop. Okay. Gotta wait for the scoop! 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 Haha. -ha. Ouch! I paid for my overconfidence, but I'll report this to Onyx. Gar har har. Whose man was that? <laughs> Little weird demon looking ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was pretty crazy. Was that a one-time thing? <laughs> I think I passed the test. That was like the confidence test. You just gotta keep moving forward without hesitancy, and you'll make it. I'm so good at parkour. Okay, well, while I'm pushing forward, a couple episodes ago, I had a common question of the day that was very wholesome, where I asked you guys just to tell me some good news about your life. And I wanted to share some good news from the comment section. Oh, that's nice and good news. Falling, raining snakes is not good news. <laughs> yeah, we had one comment say that somebody got gas for two dollars thirty-nine cents, and that's that's great news. I wish I could get gas for that price. It's almost five dollars where I live, which is insane. Los Angeles gas prices are no joke whatsoever. I remember like during mid quarantine, back where I'm from in Missouri, my family sent a picture of gas prices in Missouri and they were under a dollar for a little bit. They got to like 98 cents and I was pressed. <laughs> um, somebody said that they started a new YouTube channel where they tell dad jokes, which you have to love that. I actually went and checked it out and there were some pretty good dad jokes in the channel. I wish you luck on your YouTube adventures. Can I bring this thing to the next room? I don't think so. I think it has to stay in here. What is it for? Weird. Oh. This comment said that they graduated with a degree in computer and information science. Dude, congratulations. That seems hard as hell to get. I don't hardly know anything about computers or computer information or programming or science. So, definitely, definitely big props. Graduating is... Graduating college is not an easy task. Now that I'm grown up, I'm also realizing that graduating high school isn't the easiest task either. I kind of got lucky that I was like in a situation where I was able to graduate. Well, I guess for me, I guess graduating high school isn't that, well, it, it depends. If you like live in a household that isn't very healthy, graduating can actually be pretty difficult. I lived in a pretty decent household, so graduating high school wasn't too difficult for me. But then college, I only got my associate's degree in college. I never even got my bachelor's because of my degree change. I went to school long enough to get a bachelor's, but I never like settled on a bachelor's degree. But I also realized you don't really need a bachelor's degree unless you're going for very specific um, jobs in the first place. But for entertainment, you don't really need that big of a degree. It's more about just like showing up to jobs or being creative. Ah. I see, so this isn't the right hole, but the right one is over here, more hidden. Um, this comment said that their boyfriend got them flowers for the very first time in their life, and that's so cute. Having flowers bought for you is just so great. I love seeing that. What did that do? Did that get rid of a block? I don't even know what that did. Hmm. Now the comment said that they visited Alaska with their family. Which, ooh, staircase. Which, I've never been to Alaska, but I've had a friend who went and he made, took like a video. He made from like a short little, I guess, <laughs> like National, National Geographic video just showing nature and stuff. Is this the, well, are we, did we complete the temple? We didn't go in so many rooms. Were there optional rooms that I missed out on? Because there's another treasure chest 
which is maybe is just a key for that one block that I never unlocked. Because, yeah, I never went upwards on that one section of the map. I kind of feel like I should, but let's let's try to fight the boss one time first, because I'm probably going to die anyways. Any other good news? Oh, yeah, somebody found a job in their field of study. That's difficult, so congratulations for that. And also about the Alaska thing. Alaska's beautiful. I'm glad you got to visit such a, a beautiful location. Anyways, uh, is this a piranha plant? It's like a mutated piranha plant. Okay, let's start by using the boomerang. Doesn't seem like we can do anything major with that. Okay, if we hit him with our sword, it shocks us. It seems like these guys are like mounted on a chew. Oh, I think it hurts them if you hit them while their mouth is open. Okay, let's, let's stand on the areas where the sand isn't moving. Yeah, that's what we have to do. I'm not sure how many times we have to hit him. Oh, he speeds up. Okay, not that many times. This doesn't seem too bad. Can I actually possibly beat a boss fight without dying a million times in a temple? Why has this dungeon been so easy? Like, the combat's been a bit easier, I think, because of my upgraded sword. Although there's been more difficult enemies in this dungeon, so it's not like that really that kind of balances itself out. I feel like puzzle-wise, this dungeon was super easy. I feel like I hardly got stuck on anything, apart from that one room. Okay, wait, I'm saying I need to not get too ahead of myself. I need to beat this guy first before I claim that he's easy. <laughs> okay, I should probably... Oh, no! He killed me! <laughs> he killed me as I was going on about my monologue about how this game is too easy. You know, karma, karma finds a way. Okay, so that was a bust. I'm actually not sure how to get to the upper section of this temple. Maybe it doesn't matter, though. I mean, if I can go fight the boss now, then clearly it doesn't. Oh, not this room again! Okay, made it up here. And we got a fairy! Cool! Thank God we got fairies. Alright, let's try to make this happen again. Just start shooting out all the boomerangs. I forgot I can control my boomerangs, so let me start trying to do that, maybe. It's kind of hard to control your boomerang while you're walking around in the slippery sand. Ooh, I got him twice! Kill him! Yum, yum, yum. This game has some pretty good bosses. Not gonna lie. Especially for a handheld Zelda game. Handheld Zelda games are great. <laughs> What's the last handheld Zelda game we got? Was it Link Between Worlds? I guess Link's Awakening is the last Zelda game we got that had, like, the handheld vibe? Or, like, handheld remake? I want another top-down Zelda game for the Switch, like an original one. We need it really bad. Oh, it gets fast. It gets mad. Oh god, it only has one math left. Oh, I was actually close to hitting it. No, just open it. Say ah, uh, say ah. Uh. Open your mouth, ho. Open your mouth. Oh, I. He opened his mouth, and then I had the bo boomerang in the wrong direction. Nice! Oh god, okay. He has no heads left. Is that it, it looks like a derpy country redneck ass choo choo. No, it looks like Gur, the little dog from Invader Zim. How much health does this guy have? Oh we gotta hit it. Is that it? It's dead! Let's go, boy! I think this was the easiest dungeon of the whole game. I beat it pretty quick. Like, lots of the other dungeons took way more time than this one. I was claiming this is like the, the biggest one, but we ended up doing it so fast. This looks like an Egyptian eyeball. The blowing wind, an essence of nature. Sweet fruit is born when pollen is carried by the blowing wind. And that's how people get allergies. <laughs> So much power. Ooh, I just burped. You guys are welcome. The tree wants to talk to us again. Say, Mario. The blooming wind reaches me too. I dreamt of a cemetery west of Horon Village. Could an essence lie there? To get there, find a way across the sea. Homes. Find a way across the sea. Ooh. That sounds like we definitely gotta 
get that pirate ship that we saw at that one point. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna try out the Gale Seeds. Let's test these out real fast. I wanna see if there's a new teleport location on the map. There is. We can teleport up here whenever we want to the Tarm Ruins. I guess what that that's what that Gale tree symbolizes, I guess. I'm just realizing all the warp points are those trees that give us different refills of the berries. I'm just not piecing that together. Okay, so it seems like the next dungeon is in that bottom left-hand corner. And then I'm guessing the one afterwards is going to be in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Whole run village time, baby. We are back. Anything new happening here? Ugh, maple. I'm getting kind of annoyed of this woman. I feel like she's wasting my time more than anything. Um, I'm just going inside the ring shop. Let's do equip a couple more rings. Or maybe we should appraise a couple first. Oh damn, we have a lot to appraise. We can do three of them. The Subrosion Ring. Become a Subrosion. That's what the ring is. That one's interesting. Slayer's Ring. 1,000 beasts slain. That's what the ring is. I'll add it to your list. I don't get what that one means. Maple's ring. Maple's meetings. That's what the ring is. I'll add it to your list. Does that mean Maple gives us more stuff when we run into her? Okay, let's equip a couple more. Maple's meetings go up. That probably just means we see Maple more often, which I do not want that. I'm gonna keep the blue holy ring equipped. Cracked floors don't crumble. I like this one a lot too. The last one I'm gonna put on is a subrosion ring. I wanna see what I look like as a subrosion. Can I put that on now? Of course. Nice! Okay, I'm gonna start my next episode as a subrosion because that is freaking awesome. And speaking of the next episode, I think I'm going to have to see you guys in the next one because we've been going for a while. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smack that thumbs up button for me, and I will see you later.